hot work pumping tires. Even the pump's getting hot. See, what's happening is I'm compressing the gas. It's going 70 PSI, so that's five atmospheres above the atmosphere. So it's going up to six atmospheres. Factor of six, I'm increasing the pressure, so the temperature's going up as well. You could make a heater out of it. Not that I need a heater right now. Wait, you could make an air conditioner out of it. If you reverse the process. So you pump it, get it hot, and then let it cool down. See, it's still a bit hot. I'll get back to you. Okay, it's cooled down now. When I let it go, it springs back to its original volume. You'd think it'd go to the original temperature, but it lost some energy when it cooled down to ambient. So it's now, as it's gone to a bigger volume, temperature's gone down below what it was before. It's now a cool little gas. When I blow that air on me, it's, it's so refreshing. That's basically how your fridge works. There's a bunch of guys and, and girls in the back of the fridge pumping with bike pumps, letting it sit for a while till the energy comes out. That's why the back of your fridge is hot. And then they let it go. The air's cooler, now they pump it back into your fridge. What? Run along then. This wheel's a bit like an air conditioner too, because we pumped it up, it got hot, the high pressure air went into here and then cooled down. You know, it's cooled down to basically the ambient temperature, 25 degrees. And now if we let this gas out, then it will be a lot cooler because of the energy that's been lost. It'd be nice to use the ideal gas equation, PV equals NRT. But we can't because we don't know what the volume's changing to, we know what the pressure's changing to, but we don't know what the temperature's changing to. There's too many variables. There's an approximation we can do to help us out. If we imagine it happens very quickly, it doesn't have any time to lose heat to the nozzle or out into the atmosphere, then you can do the calculation. And that says that if the pressure drops from 70 psi, that's six atmospheres, down to one atmosphere, then the temperature will drop to minus 94 degrees. That's pretty amazing just from my pumping. I'm going to try it with a thermometer. The thermometer says 25 degrees exactly, so... All right, it's definitely cooling my finger and the nozzle down. Unfortunately, air doesn't hold a great deal of energy. It's got a low heat capacity. Definitely getting cold though. There we go, we're down to 21. So we've cooled it by four degrees. That's nice, cool the house down. All I need probably is about a thousand tires to fill the volume of the room. Maybe that's why air conditioning is takes a lot of energy. Oh, I've let my tie down. Peel up on science.